Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing a couple of character concepts using watercolors. Watercolors is one of my favorite things to work with. Uh, I don't do it very often and I don't know why because I absolutely love them. Uh, I feel like in the next couple of months um, I've got some projects in mind that I really want to delve into and I'm going to be doing them in watercolor. At least that's my plan anyway. And so these two concepts that I'm going to do right here these are kind of tests. Um, I just wanted to flush out some quick pencil drawings. That's what I'm doing right here. Uh, you know, just a random form. Um, it's going to be a robot girl. Uh, but I just really wanted to mess around with some new watercolors that I got. Uh, some of them I got for Christmas. Uh, Soho Urban Artist Watercolors. Uh, they're pretty vibrant, as you'll see um, coming up here. And then I also... Uh, got a subscription. I did a video not too long ago uh, with Sketchbox, and some of the supplies were some metallic watercolors. Uh, so you'll see me mess around with those in this video as well. So when I'm doing my initial pencil sketch, uh, the part right here, I'm using a really hard pencil so the lines are uh, really light. Um, I up the contrast the on this part of the video so that you guys can actually see the drawing. Uh, it's a little bit darker though uh, in the video than it actually is on the paper, but I just wanted you to be able to see the, the illustration. Um, but I like a real hard lead, uh, something super light so that you know I don't have to do a whole lot of erasing um, when I go to use my watercolors. So right here, uh, this is what the pencil really looks like. Uh, there's no contrast, so you can kind of see it really fades into the white paper. But when I do uh, watercolors, I don't know if I do them like everyone else. I really control um, the pigment. As you can kind of see, I'll do my out like where I know the, uh, the shadows are and stuff first with the, the most pigment on the brush. And then I'll just kind of add more water to... Uh, change the value um, and I, I really like to work monochromatically when I'm doing watercolors it's just because like I said I really like to control it at first um, but as I get more comfortable later on I'll be you know blending the colors uh, a little bit more but you can see with my style um, as with most of my art it is really controlled I really I don't get too free with stuff very often um, the second uh, kind of watercolor that I do in this video though it's like a robot guy uh, you'll see me get a little bit faster with that one that one was more of a watercolor sketch as where this one I'm really kind of controlling the light and dark areas but you can kind of see I get some really nice gradation uh, in my watercolors so for the uh, kind of reddish pink color that you see on most of it um, I used uh, alizarin crimson and that, again, is from the Soho Urban Artist Watercolors. And then for this blue that I'm using on the uh, metal parts of her body or kind of the mechanical stuff, it's kind of a glowy effect. I use the Cobalt Turquoise. Um, and then, like I said before, I'll kind of go, I start light uh, with everything, and then I'll add my, my dark areas later. Um, I feel like with this painting specifically it really made things pop you know adding those dark shadows in the creases of her the pieces of her armor or body or whatever so so going into this painting uh, i hadn't used watercolors in a really long time and i didn't really focus too much on uh, the composition of this at all i just wanted to experiment and I knew going in I wanted to experiment, and I wasn't quite sure how things were going to turn out. Um, so, But I actually really was impressed with uh, the face and some of the real subtle uh, gradient changes. Like, I mean, I, I really, really uh, got excited. I don't know if you guys ever feel like that when you do a drawing and you're kind of experimenting and you really like the way things turn out. And you can't wait to just kind of get through it and then start a new piece. Uh, something that you think about a little bit more because you know the technique is there to make it look finished. So that's kind of where I was at at this point. I was like, oh, I'm going to try some more stuff, but I'm really happy with the way this is looking and I can't wait to do future artwork uh, in this style. 
So right here you're seeing me use these kind of gold watercolors. Uh, I was pretty impressed with the golds. Uh, the really white part that you saw me add at the beginning to her face was kind of like a, a pearl. Um, but the way the light was catching it and stuff, it didn't actually make it look more like a highlight because sometimes with pearls, um, light will hit it and it'll actually look like a shadow. Uh, it's kind of a weird effect it has. So I didn't like that. So as far as experimenting goes, that's something I learned uh, that I didn't like. But I, I liked the golds. The golds were very metallic. When the light caught those, um, you could see the metallic gold kind of shining through. So uh, these these watercolors are called Gansai Tambi, G-A-N-S-A-I-T-A-M-B-I, starry colors. Um, and it's a six color set that I got from my uh, Sketchbox subscription. Uh, so they're pretty cool and I think I'll find definite uses for these in the future. Uh, they're unique and they just add a little something to the artwork. I mean you have to be really, you have to really plan out you know, uh, when you do a piece, especially if you're doing a finished piece, where to use this stuff. But that's why doing pieces like this where you know you're just experimenting with colors is so important because you can kind of get an idea of how it will look um, on finished stuff. So uh, right here in the drawing, uh, I'm just using a brush pen to kind of outline stuff just to see what it looks like. Uh, I actually liked this painting a lot better earlier on, but you know, um, this was a, a test session where I'm just experimenting and seeing what kind of effects I can get with the different uh, materials. So. so the watercolor brushes I'm using to paint this I got for Christmas. Uh, Kalinsky Sable Art Brushes, Artist Brushes. They're called Rhapsody on the box, but it's like a five brush set. Uh, I feel like they're pretty good. Um, I don't have a lot to compare these to since I haven't done watercolor in for a really long time and I don't know if I've ever had a really good set of watercolor brushes but uh, I know these were on sale uh, she got a really good deal on them so I think they were like 40% off or something like that but if you're in the market for watercolor brushes these might be a good option for you so in all I believe I had about two hours into this uh, little painting right here um, and I, I definitely spent a lot of time just kind of experimenting. Uh, this drawing that you're watching me do right now, this is kind of a different approach. Uh, it starts out really similar, just a really quick, this is a much quicker sketch. I didn't define things uh, nearly as well as I did in the other one. Uh, this little drawing right here, painting, only took me 30 minutes to do the whole watercolor and everything. Uh, but I went a lot quicker. Uh, I'm going to apologize is why this isn't a separate video. My battery died. so. I just do a quick kind of brush over painting of this thing. Um, I just add blue and then some oranges uh, real quick, but I like the way it turned out. The only thing I don't like about this is I actually used a different watercolor paper. I used uh, Kansan instead of Strathmore, and I, they're both 140 pound papers, but for some reason this one warped a lot more than the other one. I don't know if I was using more water though, but uh, I just didn't like the paper as much, even though it is smoother, so I still might give it another shot, but uh, this is as far as you get to see this one, me working on it, because the battery dies right here, but um, basically I just kind of really quickly laid down some colors and then outlined it with a brush pen, you know, getting some nice variation in line thicknesses, uh, but I liked the kind of more concept art, real quick design. You, this right here is the finished uh, product. I hadn't realized the battery had died for a while, and then I finally just decided, oh, I'll just show them a real intro to it and then the end result. But uh, I had a lot of fun doing these watercolors, so much fun. And I can't wait to really start a, a really cool painting with this where I plan everything out. Um, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like the uh, kind of different you know, doing watercolors instead of pencils and markers. But uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys later.